Hello to everybody watching. Uh, right, I'm in my workshop this morning and I'm just fitting a set of bellow whistles into my battery electric loco which I made a while back. Uh, I fitted them in just mainly for to amuse grandkids. Well, that's my excuse and I'm sticking by it. Uh, I made a bit slightly larger set on my workbench there and what I've done, I've made a miniaturised set to fit in to cabin my loco like so. And this is what they sound like. Yeah, so we right to the other side of the cab. I've put this little handle on uh, at an angle so you can just get your hand in and press it down while you're riding up back at riding car. Like so. And I've miniaturised them. And I've just managed to make them at an appropriate size to fit in cab. I've just got to put some Velcro or something on just to hold them steady. Anyway, uh, if you want to see how I've made them, stick around and I'll show you. So on to the actual whistle part of the project. Uh, don't forget these are miniature whistles that I'm making. A lot of them that I've seen on internet, they, they, they're considerably larger than these, so I'm experimenting doing some miniature ones that's going to fit in my battery electric loco, which is a 5-inch gauge. Um, and I've made, I've designed them so that they're going to fit in my cab of my loco uh, when, they, when they fit it to my bellows. Right, so... I've had an experiment here with copper pipe and plastic pipe and what I'm using is just standard half inch or 12 mil water pipe. The only difference is it's all half inch OD or 12 mil. The bore's slightly dif different in the plastic. It's, a, it's got a thicker wall on it. So I've had an experiment with these pipes and this for sound wise I've not found any difference really at all so here's the copper and here's the plastic so there's not, not much difference at all really so the only difference is the plastic pipe's a lot cheaper than copper pipe and what I'm using is then is half inch or 12 mil copper fittings that's four elbows, four end stops and four saddle clamps. Now if you don't want to use end stops in copper, you could just put a you could just glue a dowel in of an appropriate size, like so. But I'm using these copper end stops. So going on to actual whistle, miniature whistle, I've made them all identical except for the length obviously and from one end I've measured half inch done a vertical cut to just short of halfway through <clears throat> probably a 30 second or a mil short of halfway then I've measured from the vertical cut up the pipe 3 eighths of an inch roughly it's not critical that and I've made a mark. Now the angle of this, I've done mine at 37 and a half degrees. Now I don't think it matters uh, either way if you're a, a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. So you've got a bit of leeway either way, but, but obviously if you're going to make them a, a lot different, they're not probably not going to work properly. You do just have to experiment with that. But I've done my 37 and a half degrees and how I've done it, I've set my protractor at, at, at the appropriate angle. I've put it on I've put the pipe in my vise like that. I've put the protractor sitting on top of my vise to get to eyeball that angle up. And then I've had that. Um, I've done that cut just straight across your advice 
till it meets that vertical cut. That's how I've done it. Obviously don't go and grip your pipe very tight in vice though else you'll squash it. For the stop at the whistle end you need to turn some dowel down of an appropriate size so it's a tight fit into, into the size of the pipe you're using which whatever you're using and they'll be glued in eventually but make them a tight fit right so how I've done this is I've cut them off at, it's not critical this length long as they're no longer than half inch I've done mine at three eighths of an inch and then when you've cut them off at three eighths and at the appropriate diameter you need to put a flat on these so from the top from the very top of the diameter make a mark one eighth of an inch down and then grind a flat on now it's important that you get that flat parallel to the dowel or as parallel as you can and I've just done that on my belt sander like so then push your dowel into the end of the whistle and you want to push it so the dowel comes up to the exactly up to the vertical cut like so on your whistle with the flat in the centre at the top in the centre of the cutout at the top there okay so make sure it, it is exactly in line with that vertical cut and then you'll get the whistle sound you just block the end off that's the deepest one so that's the stop. Now everything I'm you, everything I'm going to do on here, I'll, I'll be gluing it all together to make it airtight. So when you've got your whistle made, you go, and you're onto your bellows, you want to cut your bellows hole to the diameter of your elbow. And in my case, it's twenty-one thirty seconds diameter. And then that's a nice push fit into. Your and then I shall be gluing them into there eventually and then your whistle will be glued into that like so and then your end stop glued on or your dowel pushed in and glued whatever you, whichever method you're using and then I'm going to put one of these copper saddle clamps again half inch I'm just going to clamp all my whistles down like that with a saddle clamp. It'll eventually go together like this. Whistle, stop, and a clamp. It don't matter which order you put them in, I suppose. They can, they can, you can do them in any order you want. So that they'll be fitted to my bellows like that. And then everything's going to be glued in position once I know it all works okay. So this is the highest, highest sound. This is the next one up. And then the next one is... Then the deepest one, the cinch one. So they all sound the same, whether they're in plastic or copper, it don't make no difference really. Uh, I think that's everything now. So I'll now move on to fitting them into my actual bellows.